World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Dental Resorption Welcome to this video. We will talk about a very important topic in dental health, dental resorption. This is a condition that can affect anyone. It may have a variety of causes. In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about tooth resorption, including the types of resorption, causes, symptoms, and available treatment options. Dental resorption is an abnormal condition that occurs when part of the dental tissue is lost, either by the action of dental cells that destroy the tissue or by the action of surrounding tissues that damage or resorb the tooth. There are two main types of tooth resorption, external and internal. External resorption occurs on the outer surface of the tooth and is the most common. It can be caused by factors such as pressure from the bone, contact with an adjacent tooth, infection, or dental injury. On the other hand, internal resorption occurs within the root of the tooth. It is most often detected with radiographic images. Several causes can contribute to dental resorption, such as trauma to the tooth, an untreated dental infection in time, impacted teeth, orthodontics, or reimplantation, or dental transplant surgery. Regarding symptoms, most patients with dental resorption do not present them, although depending upon the type and severity of the condition, there may manifest pain, pink, or a grayish dental coloration, dental fractures, cavities in the teeth, spaces between teeth, and gum inflammation. For the proper diagnosis of dental resorption, the dentist performs an evaluation of the state of the teeth, looking for signs and symptoms of resorption, then applying sensitivity tests to cold and slash or heat stimuli. It is also important to know the patient's dental history and perform diagnostic images such as x-rays or CT scans. If you are wondering if you can have tooth resorption without knowing it, the answer is yes. A study carried out by the University of California showed that one-third of root resorptions are discovered incidentally during diagnostic imaging because the patients did not present symptoms. Once the extent of the lesion and its location have been identified, dental resorption treatment aims to stop the damage to dental tissue to preserve the tooth. Treatment options depend upon the type and severity of the condition and include practices such as infection control, tooth extraction, endodontics, periodontal surgery, and orthodontics. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.